Today's forecast, cloudy, with a chance of getting hit on the head by a robot. You probably don't care about this, but my sitting posture is fucking horrible. Weird introductory phrase? Check. Hi, I'm Yonel. Welcome to this place. If you somehow managed to get here, what the fuck were you doing to get here? Seriously. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you, just like me, suffer from something called bad posture. Whether that be while walking, sitting, driving, you get the idea. The thing is that every time I'm in front of my PC, I end up with a really shitty posture. And that's not good for my health. I'm in my 20s, I'm not planning to become a hunchback yet. Is hunchback an offensive term? That's why I decided to make this robot. I just finished recording the testing footage and the results were pretty interesting, to say at least. So if you want to know more about this robot, for example how does this work, what difficulties did I have while making this, or why did I make this, seriously why did I make this, then stay tuned and try to not get hit on the head by a robot cause things are gonna get pretty dumb. A fully executed introduction? Check. Fucking damn it. Let me introduce you to my little friend here. Its name is the... Uh, 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 give me a second. The Tate Gietobot. Yeah, that's its name. It's a really simple robot made out of leftover plastic that I found. I have some footage recorded of the building process because I wanted to make a montage, but I still got recording and working at the same time. So it's either I work nothing and record a ton of not really useful footage, or I work a lot and not record anything. Which is pretty sad because the funniest things happen while I'm not recording, like when I smashed my finger with a sander, or when my Arduino suddenly started burning. But now those things just live in my memory, I guess. Anyway, it all started with this. This is a correct sitting posture. This is clearly not. So the original plan was to make a robot that would make me go from this to this. Did I manage to make it? You'll be the judge of that. But now I'm gonna show you how I tried to accomplish it. In order for this to work, the robot needs to be able to tell if I'm sitting correctly or not. This sensor here helps me to do that. This is a ZX distance sensor, which is basically an arrangement of infrared sensors. For those of you who don't know, infrared distance sensors consist of an emitter and a receiver. The emitter fires an infrared beam and when it reflects on an object, the receiver calculates the distance to the object using triangulation of the infrared beam reflected. This sensor does the exact same thing except that aside from measuring the distance, it can also tell me the position of the object. That's why it's called ZX sensor. It's pretty useful. I put this at my neck height and use it to tell me if I'm sitting in the middle of the chair and how far my back is from the back of the chair. But that's just one part of the problem. The other part is that my arms should be in a specific range of angles. I could be sitting like this with my back in its place, but this will still be bad for my back. My first thought was to use deep learning to solve that, and I spent two weeks learning about it. But I couldn't manage to make it work smoothly, so I changed to image processing instead. This is a really simple Windows form application. It's written in c and it uses OpenCV, which is an image processing library, to apply a mask to my webcam's video. It's a pretty basic mask. I can mess with the hue, saturation, and value to make it recognize different things. That's why I added these LEDs here. They will serve as the points to be identified by the application. I had to take some considerations to make this work. For example, the lighting settings should be pretty consistent over time because the minimum change in the lighting could affect the image processing. That's why I'm recording in such a moody atmosphere. I also had to make sure that none of the things in my webcam's frame interfere with the LEDs. For example, my wall over there is fucking reflective, so I had to move my shelf a little bit and make sure I was wearing pretty monotone clothing and position my camera in a way that my monitor's light won't be in the frame either. Having done that, the rest is really simple. I just tell the robot that the upper point is the shoulder and the lower point is the wrist and calculates the angle of the line between those two points. Mix that with the output from the CX sensor and my robot has sufficient information to tell if I'm sitting correctly or not. And if I'm not, this happens. You thought I was gonna show you what happens, right? But I can't do that yet. I'm pretty sure that you've already seen it, but I don't care. As dumb as this looks, this is one of the most crucial steps. It's not enough for me to know that I'm sitting bad. I know that I'm sitting bad, but nothing happens if I do that. 
I need to feel that. That's why I added this pan and tilt servo so that every time I'm doing something wrong, it hits me on the head with a wooden stick. This is definitely the most caveman project I've ever made. I was just ooga booga wooden stick. Cool. Yeah. I feel so monkey free. Then I gave it Amazon's you. Then I gave One, it a voice using two, Amazon's voice three, synthesizer four. and programmed a few lines for it to say. You will have after this. Ora, ora, ora. Again? Seriously? If I wasn't a robot, I would have given up already. The rest of the parts are just some batteries and a voltage regulator to power up the servos and an Arduino Uno. This is the thing that allows me to read the ZX sensors, move the servos and turn the LEDs on. It communicates with the Windows form application through serial communication. The app handles most of the processing part. I guess you can say that this is the robot's brain. The Arduino is just the bridge between the sensors and actuators to the brain. Everything is locked in place using some wood and a PVC tube, and the body of the robot is nicely secured to my chair using wires. No, it's not. And just to show you, I can control some things manually through the app, like moving servos or making sounds. Bad explanation? Check. And I think that's it. I wanted to make a short video, but I wasn't sure how short it would come off. I think I explained everything. Am I forgetting something? Am I? I don't think... I don't think... Oh, alright, yeah, yeah. The difficulties I had. Okay, this thing, I'm gonna call it the bonk, that's pretty stupid, was too short and it wasn't able to hit me properly, so I put two of these things together with duct tape and it worked. The first five times, but it was too stressful for the servo and I don't know the German English, but here in Chile we say that se gastó. I'm gonna put the translation here, somewhere. And now this servo doesn't work. Fucking damn it. You know, I'm getting tired of this was originally the punk servo. And I can't say that with a straight face. But I had to change it because it couldn't move the wooden stick anymore. I should have known that that would happen, but I just thought that it would be able to hold it long enough for me to film the video. If this doesn't teach you to sit properly, nothing will. I guess I was wrong. Besides that, the only complication I had was the illumination, but I've already talked about that, so I think I explained everything. Talk about my difficulties? Check. Now that I covered everything about this robot, I hope, I'm gonna proceed to show you some clips of it working. I'm not gonna explain the code here, cause that shit's fucking boring, but if you wanna know more about it, tell me in the comments and I could share the code or make a video about it, I don't know. Now, are you prepared to witness the most caveman-like project you'll ever see today? Let's begin. I have to edit the footage before comment- Damn it. What can I say about this project? It hurt a shit more than I expected. Today's cloudy, with a chance of getting hit on the head by a robot. Ow. The robot worked really well and that wasn't good for me because I kept receiving hits on my head. I am going to beat the shit out of you until you can sit properly. After watching the testing footage, I realized that I wasn't maintaining a correct posture because the robot was in a pretty uncomfortable position, so I went back and recorded again after having adjusted the robot's position a bit. You are so stupid you didn't know how to sit properly. You had to build a robot to teach you that. Today's forecast, Bobby, with a chance of getting hit on the head by a robot. Probably the most annoying problem was that the servos weren't able to get back to their original place, and that's because I'm using 360 degree servos instead of 180 degrees. That means that they don't have any positional awareness whatsoever, but those were the only ones I had. I couldn't film from that long because my camera's battery is not that good, so I was constantly aware that a robot might hit me at any time. And that was fucking stressful. And just for the record, at the time of writing this script, my head still hurts a bit. But I noticed that I got a little bit better at maintaining a good posture. One, two, three, four. 
I am counting the number of contusions we will have after this. I'd say that's a win. This robot works far better than I expected. I'm being completely honest here when I say that it helped me to maintain a correct posture while sitting on my desktop. Of course, having a robot threatening you to hit you on the head with a stick sure helps you to sit correctly. I want to clarify something. I do not believe in violence. Violence just generates more violence. At least, if we're talking about humans. But robots are a different story. They don't want vengeance, they don't feel anger. So I'm okay with robot violence, even though it violates the first law of robotics. If you're like me, you're probably wondering, where can I get one of those things? I do need to fix my posture. Well, for a thousand dollars, I'll send it to you. I need new pieces to make more robots. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think the ending is a little bit abrupt, don't you think? But I don't have anything else that I want to say. So if you made it this far, thank you really much. I enjoy making breaks a lot, so if you're interested in watching this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram, I upload some parts of the building process there and other stuff. With that said, I'm Yunel know, and I like to build things. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. This time, it sure worked, and I have a fucking headache to prove it. Thank you for watching. Cringy outro? Check. <laughs>